So today I'm tying a blowtorch variation that has some really cool barred sexy floss legs that I use for it. I think it's a cool variation of the blowtorch. Blowport Blowtorch is a pretty popular fly. This is just a version that I like to use. I will tie this. So today I'm doing a purple, pink, and copper version. I will also do an olive and a brown version. And I will show those to you guys at the end of the video. I'll show you what those other colors look like. But this version is my favorite. So I'm gonna advance my thread back to where the barb would be. This is a folding mill size 14 jigged hook. You could use the umquas are really nice. You could use a Hannah cook. Doesn't really matter. This is just the one that I had. So I've got a piece of Glowbrite floss here that I've doubled over and then I'm going to fold it over again and wrap it around the thread and place it right up on top of the hook, just like that. And then kind of touching turns all the way back. I'm going to lock that in place, advance my thread back a little bit. And when I cut this, I want this to be really pretty short. So you'll see, I'll cut that. It's a pretty short tail. This is just a hot spot. So next I'm going to take that barred sexy floss. This is a purple and black here, and I'm just going to capture this on one side of the hook, just like this, start to wrap back. And then I'm going to pull this over to the opposite side and I'm going to capture the, the rest of that sexy floss. So there's a piece. If you look, there's a piece on each side of that globe, right? Okay. So I'm going to touching turns all the way like that and lock that in, come back to the eye of the hook. And then I'm just going to trim this to match the other legs. So now we kind of have this nice split tail, right? Just like that. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of 7X tippet. You could use five or six X. This was the tippet that I had laying around. I'm gonna capture that in. And then I have a piece of opal tinsel that I am going to also put in. So we put the, the tippet in to counter wrap the tinsel because the tinsel has a tendency to get torn up by fish's teeth. And so you need that, that tippet in there to counter it so that it, it has a little bit better durability. So I've tied in the tippet on one side of the hook, right? And then the opal tinsel is on the other side of the hook. Now I'm going to take my hens spectra dub and I've got a purple color that I like a lot. And I'm just going to take this, you could use any, kind of purple and black ice dub. I just happen to like the Spectre dub. So I made a little noodle and I'm just gonna do touching turns to build up a little bit of a body here. Just like that. I need a little bit more there. Just to kind of get that taper nice up towards the front. Now I'm gonna wrap my tinsel forward just like that one direction, capture it, trim it off. Then I'm going to take my monofilament and counter wrap that all the way back up. And that just helps with the durability of the fly. Just like that, cut that off. This fly is a pretty quick tie. And that's another reason that I like it. I know I didn't do three reasons this week for you guys, but this is just a cool kind of a tractor pattern that I like to use. So I'm capturing that just like that. We're going to do another set of legs in the front here with that same piece of sexy floss. I'm going to wrap that. So I captured it twice there and then I've looped it around and I'm going to capture it on the other side just like this. Let's see if I can get this to not be funky and you can kind of adjust it and look. So that looks pretty good. Do a few more securing wraps there. And then I'm going to take more of that same Spectre dub and I'm just going to finish the fly with that same Spectre dub, kind of building it up in the front there, just like that. Advance my thread forward 
and then we're just gonna whip finish. We're almost done. Throw in a couple whip finishes there. I usually do two and I don't glue. Just like that. Come in and cut that, separate it. So now you got kind of got these crazy long legs. I'm just gonna push these forward to kind of capture them and then come in and cut them all the same length. That's a little bit long, so I'm just gonna cut these down a little bit. Leg length is a little bit of personal preference. I like them long enough to move, but not so long that they look ridiculous. So that's about right, right there. That's your finished crazy leg fly. And that is the purple and pink and copper version. So that's a great pattern. Also, I'll show you that I also like to do this one in a uh, brown, pink, and yellow version right there. So you can kind of see what that looks like. And then the last one I'll do is a silver, olive, and orange version. So there's a couple variations I like, and I keep these in my box. It's a cool, like, blowtorch variation based on Devin Olson's pattern that I like a lot, but that's your finished fly right there. So give it a try. Let me know how it works for you guys, and let me know if you have any other thoughts on it. Fish it.